In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your own ancestor or someone else um, from the past to the Ireland XO Chronicles. So to begin with, I've logged into my irelandxo.com account and I'm going to, from the home page, click on the Ancestors button. From the main page, I'll click on the Add Person orange button and this brings me to a form that I can fill out with the details of my ancestor. Now here you can simply start following the, the prompts on the page. Middle name, no. Type surname here, black. Catherine Black. I know she's female. Now what I have done also is I've created a Word document with all the information about my ancestor. This means that you can be working on it when you're not logged in and then you can use it to copy and paste the information in. So the next thing that I'm asked is for a profile picture. If you have a picture of your ancestor, you can choose it from your files. And then once you've chosen your picture, click on the orange upload button. So I'm going to go to my Word document where I've created some information about this ancestor. And I'm simply going to copy in the information that I want to put into the main body of the Chronicle. And I can do that here simply by copying and pasting. So I've put in the information that I want to include. Now, for her date of birth, I'm going to go back to my Word document, 28th of June, 1878. So 28th June. 1878. And if you have a reference or an online source um, where you're able to verify this date of birth, you can include this here where it says paste URL of date of birth source here. Again, I've put that into my Word document and I'm going to paste that URL here. Date of death, 7th of October 1939. And I don't have an online source for the date of death. So I'm just going to skip that. I can add in biographical details. So this is where maybe I want to break down the information about my ancestor into specific details. So what we'll do here is we click on the orange button. I can choose what detail I want to include. I'm going to start with her father. I'll go back to my Word document. Moses Black was his name. And then I can say and give a source for that information. So in this case, I got that information from a census page. And then I copy and paste my census page in there. I might want, add, want to add another biographical detail. So I'll click mother. Go back to my Word document to see her name. Lily Ann Eakins or Eakins. And this was taken from the same census page. So I've put in two pieces of biographical details. We know that Catherine Black was a nurse, so I might also want to include her occupation. If I have a URL that verifies that she was a nurse, I can put in the URL here as I've done for the previous biographical details. If I have files, maybe um, a PDF, for example, of her baptism or some other file that I want to add in, um, I can choose from my own computer and add in files that way. Going back to my Word document, I'm just going to look at the references that I compiled when I was researching this ancestor. So I have a civil record reference here. And I'm going to put these in as the references that I used when compiling this chronicle. So here it says online references to this person 
I'm going to add a new reference. So the civil records are from Ireland. I'm going to paste in my URL here and I will put civil records. I want to add in also the census reference that I used. So I know that they are Again, it's an R, a record from Ireland. I'm going to copy in the URL and I'm going to say 1901 cents Ralph Nelson. Now, this is important. This is Lincoln Civil Parish or a county associated with this person. This is where we put in the parish where they were born um, or they are descended from. We can put more than one parish. For example, if a person was born in one civil parish and married in another, we can put both. So to start with a parish, you just start typing in the name and you'll be given some selections. So Ognish Donegal is where we want to link. If we want to put in another parish, we simply click on the orange button. But in this case, we don't. by linking uh, a parish in, in Donegal County, we are also automatically linking the county of Donegal. So there's no need to put in um, Donegal as a separate place. We have the opportunity to link a building or a landmark to this person. If a building has already been created on the system, for example, a building where she was born, or our ancestor perhaps were married, we could start typing in the name of that building and link them there. Um, and then the last thing uh, that we include before saving is we look at place of migration. And what this would mean is if the person has been born outside of Ireland, where were they born? Um, or if they migrated um, to another country, what was, the, what was the eventual destination? So here we know that Catherine died in London. So we're going to put migrated to born in UK. So I can check over my details. By scrolling all the way back up, I can make any changes that I want to at this point. If I'm happy with what I see, I will now save this person. Click once on save this person. And we will be brought back to the main ancestors page with this message. Thank you for your submission to Exo Chronicles. We will moderate and publish your content shortly. Once you have saved your person, um, this will go into a queue to be published. We aim to publish all ancestors within 72 hours. Once my ancestor chronicle has been moderated and published, I can come back to the ancestors and search by surname. I can see that Catherine Black has been created and by clicking on her image I can go in and see all the details that I've uploaded when I was creating the chronicle. If I scroll down I come to additional information where we put in the biographical details such as the father and mother's name. The link that I input now appears as a view source and when I click on this I'm brought straight to the link that I input, which in this case was a census page from the National Archive. The references that I included, there were two, there were civil records, and again the 1901 census in MacMelton, and these two appear as a view source links. If there are any things that you want to change, or if you have new information about this chronicle, you can click on the orange button, edit, and once you're logged in, you'll be able to edit any of the details that you previously inputted. Once you've made your edits, you can save this person. And we will 
you will again be told that we will moderate and publish your content shortly. So all edits that are made to Chronicles, again, come through to the moderation team. Um, we make sure that they are um, adding to the Chronicles. We publish them and you will be able to see your edits again within about 72 hours.